Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be starting off by using the Kat Von D foundation. This is full coverage. So I'm going to be using this basically like a concealer or primer. And I'm going to be cleaning the bottom of my brow and slowly be tapping this with a beauty blender so that it can be smooth and we can have a clear and clean canvas for our eyeshadow. I'm not going to be using any powder to set this. I'm only going to be going straight for my eyeshadow because I want it to stand out a lot more. I'm going to be using the Morphe by Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm Palette from the Vault Collection. And I'm going to be starting off with the shade Rush. And this is going to be my translucent shade. So I'm going to be using a big fluffy brush and I'm going to be blending this out on my crease. I only grabbed a small amount of product onto my brush because I want to start slowly building up the intensity of this shade so that way it's easier to fix if we make a mistake because if we apply too much then it's going to be a lot harder to blend. But anyways, um, I'm going to be using the shade Alert and I'm going to use a smaller fluffy brush so that I can get deeper into my crease. And I'm going to be bringing this over all the way to the inner corner and the outer V area of my eye. And like I said before, I'm only going to be grabbing small amounts of the eyeshadow and I'm going to slowly start building up the shade so that it gets darker. Now I'm going in with the previous fluffy brush that I used just to blend these two shades together and so I can get this as smoky as possible. Next I'm going in with the shade Mugshot and this is a much darker orange so I'm going to be using a pencil brush so that I can really get into depth with this shade onto my crease. So I'm going to be starting off at the outer corner of my eye which is my V area and I'm going to slowly start dragging that towards the center of my lid and then slowly start building this up on my inner corner of my eye as well. Once again, I'm going to be repeating this so that you guys don't make this mistake because I used to do it all the time. Don't use too much product when you're starting. Just start off grabbing a little bit and then slowly start building it up so that it gets darker and darker every time. Now I'm going to be going in with the previous brush and I'm just going to be blending those shades together. Only blend on the top area of the crease. And now I'm going in with the shade Secret and this is the darkest shade on this little palette. And I'm going to be going in with a smaller pencil brush and starting off on my outer V area. And this is going to be going below the crease and on the crease. And then I'm slowly going to be building this up so that it can get darker and darker. And I'm dragging this across my crease so that it slowly starts to look smokier and smokier every time. We're also applying this on that inner corner because this is a halo eye look. So now I'm going in with that previous pencil brush and I'm going to be blending these shades all together. Only on the crease though, do not go below that to blend. And then I'm going to be going in with my Kat Von D foundation again. And I'm going to be using this as a concealer because it's full coverage and it's my favorite. So I'm going to be lining this up onto my crease. And I'm going to be dragging this downwards so I can mark exactly where I'm going to be applying my shimmery shade. Try keeping this only on the center and as you get to the outer edges, try to tap as lightly as possible so you don't apply that much product and you don't make a mess. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to do cut creases or a halo eye, I will show you guys how to do the cut crease for a halo eye as well. Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're looking for a good concealer, I strongly recommend this foundation as a concealer <laughs> for your eye. Anyways, um, now I'm going in with the shade on camera and I'm going to be spraying this with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to intensify that shimmery shade. And I'm going to be applying this in a line going downwards right in the center of where I applied that foundation. And I'm also going to be going in with the shade Alert with a smaller pencil brush. And I'm going to be slowly tapping this right next to that gold or yellowish looking shade. The reason why I'm applying this shade right here is because it's going to help these shades transition from light to medium to dark. So I'm starting off with my medium now and I'm going to be going in with my dark which is secret because that's what we applied on our inner lid and on our outer V area. And this is the shade Secret and I'm going to be using that same pencil brush just to connect the shade Secret and the shade Alert. And this is going to create something so pretty. It's going to look so warm and blended which is what we want. After those two colors have been blended, I'm going to be going in with this exact same brush with no product. I'm just going to be dragging the tip of it over where I applied my foundation so that it can blend out good and it doesn't look like it's just on there at the top 
and I'm going back into that inner corner and making sure that it's very well blended. Also to make this look extra smoky, I'm going to be going in with that previous small pencil brush again with no product just to blend that out really really good. And now I'm taking the shade Alert and I'm going to be taking a small small pencil brush and I'm going to be applying this on my lower lash line. I don't recommend you do this if you have an issue with powder <laughs> going into your eye because it's definitely going to get in there and it can be painful. So now I'm going to be using a big blending brush just to smoke it out and it can start looking like the top of our eye. And now I'm going in with the shade Mugshot and I'm using that pencil brush that I used previously. And I'm going to be applying this right on top of that shade so that it starts to transition from light to dark now. Also, if you guys are interested in knowing what brushes I used, I'm going to be putting them down below in the details so that you guys know exactly which ones I used for this video. Now I'm going in with the shade Secret with my pencil brush again and I'm going to be dragging this on to exactly onto where my lower lash line is and I'm going to be very very careful with the shade so that it doesn't go all over the place. <laughs> And now I'm going in with my big blending brush and I'm going to blend all those shades together and bring this upwards so that it can connect to my outer V area. Now I know that this is probably like the shortest tutorial I have on here. The reason why is because I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to be filming these because I don't know what you guys like. Anyways, now I'm going in with this highlighter and my Urban Decay setting spray to apply this on my inner corners. And this, this is from MAC Cosmetics. It's called Hyper, Hyper Real Glow, I believe. And I'm going to be applying this with a pencil brush. So now I'm going in with my Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced, which is my ultimate favorite mascara. And I'm going to be applying some light coats on my top lashes because I'm using these false lashes. And these have already been used, but they last a very long time. These are from Minked Luxury Lashes, which I'm going to be linking their Instagram account down below if you guys are interested in using these purchasing these actually um, I'm using my duo glue which is if you follow my channel you guys know that this is my favorite glue to use it's clear and it dries up perfectly so now that my lashes are applied I'm gonna be using a spongy to apply to pull down my skin so I can apply my eyeliner onto my waterline and this is the Italia Deluxe eyeliner. This is one of my favorite eyeliners. It's very very dark and it's very inexpensive. I believe this is like two dollars, one dollar, something like that. And now I'm going to be applying some mascara on my lower lashes. This is very important you guys. This is what gives this look that extra pop. So don't forget to apply mascara on your lower lashes. No matter how short they are, they still matter. And now I'm going to be going in with my lipstick from Tarte. This is a lip paint. I'm not sure what shade it is, but I will write it down below. I'm going to be honest about this lipstick. It does come off eventually and it leaves your lips a little... It starts to dry up on your lips and it starts to come off, which means I do not recommend this for you guys. I like to wear them. Sometimes I don't care because I'm just home. But if you're going out to a party or something, I do not recommend you use this. But yeah, guys, this is the end of this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified every time that I upload a new video. Bye.